When I was a young guy, I struggled to maintain a healthy lifestyle. I consumed junk food, I didn't really enjoy exercise that much, and my body showed those results. I developed gynecomastia in 8th grade, and it severely impacted my confidence. I felt really bad because I had man titties, and other kids were ruthless. They made sure to mention it. They made sure to take their finger and flick my titty. Can you imagine how that felt for a young man? How it impacted my confidence? On top of that, I had already suffered from so much of this programming from our feminist society that taught me to be weak and submissive, that taught me not to fight back, that taught me not to assert my confidence, not to stand my ground, and I let these people walk all over me. I, I knew about the man I could become, a tribe leader who embodied masculinity, who inspires others to join him on this path to success, who knows his feminist culture labels him as toxic, but he doesn't care, who exhibits strength, courage, and leadership. Every day, I take another step to fulfill my destiny and become that man. I'm disciplined and knowledgeable about nutrition and fitness. I fuel intense workouts with precision and passion. I want you to take five minutes to reflect on your current diet and be honest with yourself. Do you eat like shit or do you eat like an athlete? Do you eat like Usain Bolt? Do you eat like Christian McCaffrey? Do you eat like Michael Phelps? Or do you eat like a pussy? Or do you eat like a man I have zero respect for? Who's obese, who's out of shape and is doing nothing to change it. The glutton who simply lives for pleasure and stuffs their stomach until it hurts so bad and all they can think about is the next fancy meal where they're going to stuff their face. Or even worse, the person who goes to three different fast foods in one day. Which man are you? How do I fuel a day of intense exercise? This can include going on a five mile run, hitting an intense lift, and then going and playing spike ball or sand volleyball or going for a swim. That's five or six hours of exercise. The first is having a balanced diet, balancing your macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and healthy fats to provide sustained energy throughout the day. The carbohydrates are all balanced around my workouts. So the first workout's fasted. That's usually my run. Afterwards, I have carbs, proteins, and fats. Before my next workout, I have some carbs and some protein. To refuel, I'll have some liquid IV and some honey during the workout to keep fueling. At night, I refuel with a ton of fruit, berries, strawberries, cantaloupe, some potatoes. Always having enough lean meats and tons of vegetables. Cooking in butter and olive oil, healthy fats, avocado. The pre-workout nutrition. I'm having my complex carbohydrates one to two hours before exercise, and I'm having simple carbs, meaning sugars, during my workout because it gets metabolized immediately and I need the energy. If you're having sugar outside of your workouts, I don't respect you because it's simply for pleasure. Sugars are meant to fuel intense periods of physical activity. Hydration. I'm drinking so much water throughout the day. In these days of intense exercise, I'm having six or seven liters of water. I'm remineralizing with trace minerals. I'm having sodium in there because the more you sweat, the more water, the more minerals you need and it enhances your performance. If you do that much exercise without hydration, you will collapse. Post-workout recovery. It's always a combination of proteins and carbs around 30 to 60 minutes after I exercise. My favorite post-workout meal is Greek yogurt, blueberries, and a little bit of peanut butter. Maybe sometimes some honey. That's it. The only supplements I do are, like I already said, trace minerals, electrolytes for my water, and caffeine. I drink black coffee. That's it. Maybe creatine. Creatine's fine if you want to have more glycogen stores. It helps you output more energy when you're working out. That's okay. Anything else you really don't need. You might say eating healthy and fueling workouts is too complicated or too time-consuming. It's a self-limiting belief. How hard is it to go to the store to get chicken, beef, vegetables, and fruit? That's cheap. You can eat on under $10 a day eating those foods. So don't tell me it's too expensive. You're lying if it says it's too time consuming. Reflect on your nutrition. Are you eating the good foods? 
If your foods sound like a science experiment, if they come from a plastic package, they have a million ingredients, cut it out. Spend five minutes each morning creating an intention so that you know what you're going to eat and you know what you're going to work out and you can plan for it ahead of time. Fuel your workouts with a balanced meal or snack containing complex carbohydrates and some proteins. Stay hydrated. Have minimum four liters if you're exercising six or seven. Post-workout recovery. Refuel with a post-workout meal. I like Greek yogurt, blueberries, and honey, a little bit of peanut butter. That's it. That's how I fuel a day of intense exercise. Take these tips, start working out harder, more intensely, more passion, so you can increase your testosterone, increase your masculinity, attract the woman of your dreams, build the life that you want for the betterment of yourself, your tribe, and your future family, so we can fight the feminist society that we live in and reframe masculinity as the status quo.